So season six ended on quite the cliffhanger. What can we expect with y'all coming back for season seven? Yeah, I mean, we left Claire high and dry in jail. Um, she so might be high. Uh, <laughs> not, anymore, you know. not anymore, not no. anymore. Um, yeah, no, I, I, we, we pick up kind of right where we left off. Um, Claire is in a very precarious situation, but, you know, Jamie is doing his best to figure out how to get her out of there. Um, but, um, but without giving away too much, but her salvation and her rescue might come in a different form. Uh, and a very unexpected one as well. You'll come back to me. You always do. What do you two love about these characters that you play? Oh, wow. Um... I think they're surprising for me. I think, you know, we, we're on a show 10, 10 years, um, you know, s seven seasons. And uh, and yet, you know, each, each episode, you know, they could almost stand alone. We've got some you know, situations that are always surprising for the character and their reaction to it. You know, I think Jamie has aged, he's become more um, multifaceted, he's become, I don't know, more fragile in some ways, um, but more experienced. Um, he's grown up uh, really interestingly, he's become a strategist, he's become responsible for, for many people now, for many people's lives, so he has a lot more responsibility. But yeah, it's it's interesting that, that you know, we're not in a procedural, we're not doing the same thing every day. It, it really does change. Uh, the show actually turns into a bit of a road movie as well later on the season. So um, yeah, there's always something to challenge us. Yeah, and I think likewise, it's just been able to play a character just for this extended period of time and get to really investigate how people change and, and evolve over many years. And, you know, I definitely think Claire is a much more mature, um, emotionally has changed so much. You know, last season, I think there was, it was almost like the destruction of her psyche and she's able to sort of build herself back together this season. And she's in a much better place, but she's figured out how to protect herself a little bit more and how to, to I don't know, mature and evolve in, in many ways. And yeah, it's just, I, you just don't get that opportunity very often and, and to live with a character for this long. And I think it's just been a real privilege. Battle is coming. I made a promise to myself. I would never face my son. Cross the barrel of a gun. Are Claire and Jamie gonna get a break though? Because these two have gone. No. <laughs> <laughs> They've been through the ring, all right? And I think, uh, well, look, this is Outlander. Um, and the war, you know, is here, you know, the war of independence. And I think um, they can't help but get dragged back into it, into the thick of it as well, um, for various reasons. So, yeah, it's not going to be an easy ride. Um, but they're always trying to navigate history and always trying to do the right thing for not only themselves, but for their extended family and for the people that Jamie has responsibility over. So um, hopefully one day they will get catch a break. Season no. eight. <laughs> season eight. Season eight. They are just really going to be over. Day. Yeah, well, you know, we are wrapping up in season eight, so maybe then they get to sail off to some beautiful beach somewhere. Maybe and, a cruise. You know, I like a crack cruise. open a bottle of champagne or a cup of cocktails. Oh, not a cruise. That, no, no, he doesn't like, he's not seasick. He gets seasick. He, gets seasick. Yeah. Yeah. he wouldn't handle that very uh, well. Yeah. Mm. We will make it back here one day, won't we? Yes, that's an action. Did you all think when you started that you would still be here 10 years later? No, I mean, it's an easy answer to that. Look, you never know when you sign on to something what it's gonna become. And, you know, we were very fortunate. There was already this incredible fan base built in for the books that Diana created. And, you know, it's never a given that they're gonna accept you. And they really did. They took us to their hearts and, and they've been so amazing to us. And. You know, the show has also just grown that fan base so much. And, you know, it's it's really quite incredible to think that we're we're hitting the milestone of 10 years. Um, I think your casting anniversary is, is in the next week oh, or it? two, isn't it? Oh, lovely. Oh, no. Nice. Did you it? celebrate it? Oh, I, I, I don't know. It was 10 years ago. I don't remember. But but um, yeah, and then you're, you're right. By the time we finish the show next season, it'll be over 100 episodes. Um, I don't think there's many shows that have done that. So yeah, I feel very proud of it, for sure. Sam, I understand you have a memorabilia room in which yes. you collect things from your projects. What mm. would you 
take and add from this experience? Oh, uh, I mean, anything that's not like tied down, really, I'll just, I'll have it. So, um, yeah, but no, I, I think um, I've always said it and I, I feel Jamie's boots are just, you know, I'd love to have They were a, made for walking. They were made for walking. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I've spent a lot of time in them, but they give, you know, great weight to him. Um, uh, I just feel like once I put them on, you know, I'm ready to, to face whatever Jamie has to do for the day. But um, I would quite like to have his boots from season one or two and then the boots he's got now and just have them in my room. Um, they probably smell a bit though. That's what I was going to say. You might have yeah. to fumigate them first. Yeah. <laughs> and I know, um, Sam, you also have Men in Kilts season two coming up. What can we That's expect right. there? Yeah, really excited. August the 11th, it'll be airing. So after the first half of Outlander season, this half season, uh, first eight episodes. And um, we're down under, we're in New Zealand. We're in uh, where Graham lives now. Uh, we're exploring the Scottish connection, uh, the food, the culture, the Maori. And um, spoiler, my, my co-star, he does survive, which uh, despite my best abilities to, to throw him off various high places. He's robust. Well, look forward to that. My last question is this, and I'd like for both of you to answer it. If you had to summarize this season of the show using three words, what would they be? Epic. Homecoming. Battles. Oh, okay, yeah, like it. Yeah. So oh. I went epic battles, love. Uh, I'm gonna go homecoming. Um, fatherhood and 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 war